Well, hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goo. So what you're about to watch is a re-upload or a highlight from my live stream on Saturday, where I take a look at the video of Alex just buying a bunch of useless crap. But I did want to come on here to say that I have opened up my channel for memberships, and I'd like to personally thank my first five members. Debbie McCrindle, Mola Grumpf, Jody Stanley, Evil Valkyrie, and Purple Talions. So if you're interested in joining my channel, click on the join button located in this description. Anyways, guys, thanks for clicking on this video, and I hope you like this highlight. <music> So, um, all right, Amazon Fall Finds, Pottery Barn and Anthropology looks for something. That's why you're only supposed to have like 50 or 60 characters for a YouTube title, just FYI, in case you're interested. Um, hold on, let's see, Mary Poppins, her, um, pelvis is much smaller than her shoulders. Yeah, she'll most likely have a C-section. You know, it's okay. It, it is, as long as baby's delivered healthy, personally, I mean, I wouldn't, I didn't care. I mean, I, at first, when they first told me I was going to have a C-section with the uh, oldest, I freaked out. Like, and it was funny. They're like, okay, you're having a C-section. And then they're, they're like, we, or we're going to do it right now. I'm like, right now? They're like, yeah, right now. So I remember being wheeled out of my room going to my father, bye, like I was never going to see him again, and he was crying, it was so funny, I'm like, dramatic much, me and dad, my father and I are like the same person, but I won't get started on that, but anyways, let's press play, um, you know, the stripes aren't helping her, but I do like the v-neck, kind of, when I tell you this might be my best Amazon haul ever, I mean it. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Welcome if you're new. We all know I am an Amazon girly like so many others. And honestly, one of my favorite parts of my job is Amazon finds, especially for the seasons. I dig to see what I can find. And so just real quick, I don't want to give Kristen too, too much, but I mean, really, actually, no, Kristen, come here, lend your opinions. These are strictly my opinion. I don't feel the need to say at the beginning of every blog or reaction that these are my opinions. I would think it's obvious that these are my opinions. Okay? You know, maybe does everybody doesn't know my background, but, um, you know, I don't opine on stuff I know nothing about. Or at least I try not to. Sometimes I do. To share with you guys. And I'm telling you, I just unboxed everything. The cutest stuff for fall and Halloween. If you watch my vlogs, I know you're thinking- Just say no. Alex, you said you're not decorating for fall until September 1st. I still stand by that. But I know a lot of you guys are already decorating now and I wanna get this out a few weeks before September starts in case you're ready to decorate, you wanna add things to your cart or just get it before it sells out. Cause we all know one thing I've learned over the years is that everything sells out really early. You gotta shop for the fall and the summer. You gotta shop for Christmas. That has not been my experience. So God bless the people who are clamoring to buy new fall shit every year when um, a gallon of milk is over $4. God bless you guys. Just, oh. I'm, I'm envious that you could worry about buying useless trinkets for your house when groceries are through the roof. Christmas in the fall, it's honestly kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's just dive in here to the fall slash Halloween Amazon haul. Of course, everything will be linked in order in of the description course. box down below. Also, this really cute um, sweater. Yeah, it's, it's way too small on her. Look at it right up too. Collared shirt is from Amazon too. We so know. I'm gonna link this too, because I feel like it's such a cute transition piece from summer to fall. I love it. Super nice quality too. Okay, so up first, I'm always on the hunt for kind of like 
a pottery barn look, anthropology look, a crate and barrel look. Those are kind of the things that I am looking for because can get pricey. So I'm always looking for simple, plain, beige. Got it. These are a little bit more affordable with that same look. I feel like these pillow covers totally gave me that vibe. So it came in a set of two, but I already put one on a pillow so you could get the full effect of it here. It's like 10,000 so pillows. These are so. gorgeous. So it's a flat woven fabric, but then you have a raised, soft, fluffy, furry pumpkin design on top of it. Um, it is absolutely adorable and then the back is just plain it's a very soft comfortable pillow the fabric feels really nice in quality and i'll also link no vip peasant i don't decorate as unless i have to because i'm bullied to now that's bullying when my family's like well aren't you gonna decorate you need to decorate so-and-so's mom decorates then you decorate not only that and they'll decorate but putting it away mm. But uh, no, I, I find it obnoxious. Like, just give me a clean house that isn't cluttered and I'm happy. Um, the recommended pillow insert that I, I get pillow inserts all the time from Amazon um, just for that nice full look. You always want to go a size bigger and then it's going to give you that more full look. But yeah, that's the story of your life, isn't it? I absolutely love, love, love. And I like that this can go for the whole fall. I'm pretty sure they had other colors as well. If you're curious about other colors or patterns, just click on the link and see what they have. But I love this burnt orange. I feel like this is definitely giving me like some pottery barn energy. And I think it's so pretty for the whole fall and not just the Halloween era. You can do it right into Thanksgiving. Although we know my Christmas tree will be up before Thanksgiving. That's oh. so obnoxious too. Okay, up next, I am in love. So not only do I love this just for aesthetics, um, I'm gonna lean it against my other cutting board that I just have like on display for decoration in my kitchen. But what I like about this one is you can either use the flat side here or you can use the side with the divots. This is great for entertaining. This would be perfect for your Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving, whatever little charcuterie moment because you have separated little sections here. Um, so great for hosting a little girls night or whatever you want to do or you can just use it on display <laughs> as a cute little uh, moment in dust collector in your kitchen so um, I love this I think this is also a very pottery barn moment and honestly such a better price I think this is such a beautiful piece that you could break out every fall okay if you know me I am a faux floral girly I have no issue with faux flowers it is preferred <laughs> And I'm telling you, I love finding good faux florals on Amazon because there's not always the best quality. Then when you find the ones that are good quality, it's... Well, the thing, I was actually going to buy some faux flowers because I cannot, for the life of me, be responsible enough to keep flowers alive in my front yard. So I was going to buy some, some, um, some artificial ones, but you actually, you do have to kind of feel the quality. So, um, you know, and then I'm like, do I want to waste my money? Because it's going to get bleached in the sun. But I just feel bad because I can't keep anything alive. I suck. It's like the best feeling and you don't have to break the bank. I just took this out of the box. Like I said, a little while ago, I was like, oh, this is nice. I'm still fluffing um, the leaves and the flowers a little bit. But overall, this is a really nice faux floral here That's so you've good. got sure. some green okay. leaves sticking out of the bottom it comes in the vase already and then it's this beautiful arrangement of like autumn tone hydrangeas and they look really nice this looks like some i don't think hydrangeas though naturally come in that color and they, they need a good fluffing something you could totally get at like TJ Maxx or something, but it would be way more expensive. And I don't know, I love um, a floral arrangement for every season. So this would be so cute to just put on your kitchen island or your table, wherever, to add a pop of these gorgeous colors, oranges, red, yellow. Oh, I'm like, actually, I'm very impressed with the quality of this. Okay, so currently on our little kitchen table, I have this bowl from Target and a bunch of moss balls for a filler. So I love a bowl with like some sort of filler, especially a seasonal filler. Um, those are kind of just like good for spring and yeah, summer. You know what? I have to agree with her because I have a basket on our coffee table in the living room 
and I don't have anything for it. At Christmas, I do put Christmas, like, glow, like the cheap plastic Christmas ornaments in it. But it's an empty bowl now, an empty basket. And all people do is throw trash in there. I'm like, this is not a trash bin. But I need to get these for it. are the perfect bowl filler. You could use them also just for like little decoration Dead on like a window ledge or on a counter or something, but I do think they're so cute as filler. So I got this bag of little knit pumpkins and they are to die for. So it comes with four different colors and they are, oh my gosh, why are these so cute? The color palette is everything. So it comes with a little brown. Okay, those are cute. One, it comes with three of They're each like color. Knit. That is cute. Orange, and like the little stems. Like, are you them. kidding me? Um, and then a more burnt orange. And then this really cute mustardy color. Um, and they are just darling. I'd probably recommend, depending how big your bowl is, to get um, two of them. I think I'm going to order another one because this bowl is huge. But I'll probably put like some styrofoam or something underneath um, to raise it up so I don't need too many. But I still think I need a second bag but such a cute concept for filler. Okay, or like okay. I said, you can just decorate with them around your house, but how, how cute. Okay. So all Bella would need to do is see them and then she's like, toy? I don't know, I guess Bruno's not like that. Yeah, another item you can leave up all the way through Thanksgiving. Okay, up next, a little Halloween moment. You guys know how much I love the antique brass frame look right now on artwork. And if you are someone who likes to swap out your wall art, like for holidays and seasons, you guys know I usually do a gallery wall for um, the Christmas season with a bunch of different holiday art. Um, this is so fun. So I found this and look at how cute it is. It's like this little ghost. Yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not into that. No, that's ridiculous and I know she does it for Christmas too. And that just fucking irritates me that she doesn't buy local actual art. That irritates me because if I had her money, I would, I love like looking at the art stores. I would totally do that. Standing in the window with a bunch of greenery. I thought it would be kind of fun to hang up throughout um, the Halloween season. So if you wanted to just like replace one of your favorite little regular wall arts with this. Like it's, it's so pretty with that frame, but then you get the little ghosty and greenery moment. I know it's kind of random, but I just thought it was such a cool it's find creepy. and I had to share it. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite things every single year, yeah, whatever season, wall. wreaths. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Why do I love wreaths? I love wreaths the way I love pillows. Can't get enough of them. Swapping them out. Love it. I ended up putting a wreath wall in my um, basement to organize my wreaths. Um, yeah. I just love them so much. They bring me a lot. She, they're probably all dusty and crusty and busty. And she should have put them in like, they have boxes, these obvious plastic boxes for wreaths. A joy. So found a gorgeous fall wreath. So for the whole fall season, like... Right, Melgon, she should be going to local. And then they're in New England. Well, that's beautiful, by the way. But they're in New England. They got lots of fun things there, like little shops and stuff. Hello. 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 That's this cute. is so freaking... I have one of those, and it smells like the leaves. Beautiful. And wreaths are so expensive. Even if you go... I mean, TJ Maxx, I feel like, has gotten a little pricey. But I feel like... I don't know. I just feel like wreaths are so expensive, especially if you get them from, like, a place that sells faux florals. Or if you go to, like, a pottery barn or something. This is giving that same pottery barn look for a fraction of the price. So it is, as you can see, that classic... Um, I don't know what this is called. Like, wired, wood-looking wreath. And then it's got all these different colors of leaves on it. It is so pretty. And then I love this little burlap um, hanger up here. So you can That's fluff cute. it as much as you want. I fluffed it a little bit. I kind of don't want it, like, too fluffed because I want it to hold, like, the shape of a wreath. Not just be, like, a big circle. But it is oh, so stunning. Really impressed with all the different colors. I don't know. This is, like, quintessential fall to me. It does. This looks straight out of Pottery Barn. Pattery burn. <laughs> Where did that accent come from? Oh my gosh, I should have showed this with the ghost picture. I'm like, I probably should have separated like fall and Halloween, but it's kind of fun to just sprinkle it all together. Okay, so I think these little trio of ghosts are the actual cutest things I've ever seen, ever. So they come in a little three pack with different ones and you can pin on 
the little um word pieces however you want they came like separately That's i dumb. put them all just kind of like on the same side and then here's the cute little one so it is a trio and they stand up and they just have the cutest most whimsical look i feel like you could definitely find something like this from an anthropology or even just like a cute little um like store a little country store they look so rustic and adorable so she could have made those fabric underneath and then this all right i take it back i don't want to see her make them because i'm sure she'll screw them up it's kind of ghostly mesh overlay um and then they stand on these little wooden platforms i mean i don't know what it is about them just do a little uh, little display with your ghosties. Okay, I'm gonna keep the ghost theme alive. This is such a cute find. So it's just this little ghost that lights up in um, this glass. So tacky. Like hurricane. What would you call this? Sorry, the pregnancy brain is kicking today. But come on, he's no. so cute. That's your normal brain. And you can turn it on or off. I feel like it looks even just as cute with it off. But at night with this cute little guy on, just takes three AAA batteries. Um, I think this is so, so cute. Ridiculous. So cute. Waste so of money. Fun. Yeah, I love this. I want to like do a little section of like all the ghosts just hanging out together. So this kind of gives me like the same vibe as this. If you watch my vlogs, I go to this like country store that has some really unique right. rustic pieces yes. um, that are just like really cozy right. my maternal style has evolved a little bit from the more like crisp clean neutral to like kind of cluttered but yeah she and but she bought this off amazon so i don't kind of i kind of don't want to hear it more modern farmhouse a little rustic energy little i don't know how to describe it but this little guy is the cutest thing i have ever seen like okay so it's a little piece of candy corn wooden and then he has a little uh little bucket with another candy corn in it a little yeah, striped hat little, I think where's she gonna put all this shit this like tin um i think this is the sweetest <laughs> sweetest little guy um because you know the holiday season i feel like with decorating it's all about little clusters of trinkets and i feel like this is such a freaking adorable piece to add okay up next i found this really cool candle and the cool thing about it is it smells just as good as it looks because I feel like you usually have to sacrifice one or the other. I was wondering what the hell that was. So look at this freaking candle. It has two pumpkins in the middle. To me, I thought that looked like eggs. It looked like some kind of weird egg dish. And then it has little pumpkins around with little leaves. It smells amazing. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of- Does it throw the scent? And whatever happened to all her scented candles that she made? You remember that, guys? A cleaner scent, but it smells so good and you can light- Scared poodle in the glass. Right. The wicks around it. And then it also does come oh. with this little bag of- uh, Weed. Little, like, crushed, dried greenery that you can sprinkle on, but I- is it sage? I kind of like it without it. So I'm just- What the fuck is that? Deciding if I want to sprinkle that on or not. Why would you- I hope it makes sense, guys. Why would you sprinkle greenery around a fucking candle? Or is it one of those candles that you're not supposed to light? To me, I hate those. But I mean, come on, this is like such Over a gorgeous full candle and it smells good. So uh, I love it. With a little bit of on the side. You can really see the details. Maybe it's cat on the leaves I don't know. And the pumpkins. Okay, every year I feel like it's a staple to grab some sort of Sherpa Halloween pillow. And this is. That is terrifying. Why the frick is it stem so long? one of the better ones I have found because as you know they have them at Pottery Barn and a lot of them on Amazon are more like of a fuzzy furry fabric versus actual like boucle Sherpa so I found this guy here and the quality on this one is the best I have personally found you know when you do Halloween decorations quality quality if it's not quality just you know go shove it up your ass I don't know it is like a true circle sherpa fabric jack-o-lantern at first i thought the stem was weird but then i just thought it was really cute and kind of looks like a like a little nightcap yeah i would use the stem to throw it her that's how it would behave in my house but what would you fucking need that for 
I later on after this, I'm not going to torture you guys now. I want to add up everything she got. I might make a spreadsheet. I think I'll make a spreadsheet. <laughs> I think he's really cute. Uh, really adorable throw pillow option. So much, so much cheaper than getting it from like a potter. You know what would be so much cheaper, Alex? Not to buy it. She's like, oh, I saved a $50. Well, you would have saved uh, 300 had you never bought it. Uh, Free barn. Um, but yeah, the quality is nice. I still have to like cut this off here, but you know, I, I really, I really like it. A hundred percent Khadija, um, Samatar, a hundred percent. That should be going in a college fund. Just, yeah, that, you, you know, I, she has no idea. If, I, I hope they have a lot of money. Okay. Because like, let's say, God forbid, the breastfeeding doesn't go well. Formula can put you out of business. I can't even imagine how expensive it is right now. I know how it was because my youngest one, Andrew, who doesn't want to be called the little goob anymore, he had to get a special formula because he had bad acid reflux um, or reflux in general. It could bankrupt you. So I don't know why she's buying all this bullshit unless she's just buying it and returning it. But even if she's buying it and making it tax deductible, it's still only like a discount. You still have to pay for it. You just get, you have to pay less in taxes. It does. It feels like much better quality. I've tried other ones in the past and this is definitely the best one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, these pumpkins. I have no idea where she'd put that stupid pumpkin. Pumpkins would go so cute with our little ghost friends here because they both have um, wood. So we got the wood on here and then the wood stems. So here we have this decorative pumpkin trio that is knit with a wood stem. So unique. Tell me this doesn't also get Pottery Barn. And I know I'm a broken record, but that's the whole goal here. So it comes in a three pack. To be a broken record? Pack with the wood stems. And I'm pretty sure they also had checkered, which could give you that Mackenzie Child's look. And um, they also had orange. So I just picked up the cream white color. And these are adorable. These would look so cute in any decor spot. Um, I just feel like they're way more unique than a traditional little woven pumpkin because you have that like birch tree stem. So, I mean, come on. The tree had to die to look stupid in our house. Got it. Another great find. Okay, also, if you are a candle person, um, I feel like- I'm not. Like, especially for hosting like a Thanksgiving friends. Oh yeah, I almost burnt down my living room one day with a candle. So we don't really burn candles anymore. Thanksgiving, um, or just doing a cute like tablescape. These are a really great find. So it comes with a pack of eight of these little pumpkin candles and they come in like different what shapes. Of, yeah, I believe it. Orange and white. So we've got like this little taller one, this more smushed one, and then we have white. Like these would look adorable mixed into like some garland lined up down the center of a table, or you can just kind of sprinkle them throughout like a living room or something to add some coziness. And then on Halloween night, you can light them and have a moment or where they all melt. Or on Thanksgiving. I love getting like a shaped decorative candle. So yeah, those are the three different shapes and color but you cannot go wrong with adding something like this to your holiday tablescape i usually do something like that for um christmas who's ready for vlogmas it's like far but not that far i can't wait for vlogmas i can't wait she's gonna have a baby oh my god it's going to be a shit show and a half i imagine I know I'm not the only one who loves barefoot dreams. If you don't know, they are, they sell like blankets, pillows, robes, but like pretty much the softest, coziest Sherpa ever. Like there's something about it. It's like somehow cooling. It's like buttery, silky, soft. Um, I got gifted one once cause they are pricey. This gifted feels just like it this is gonna be oh i'm sure they'll appreciate you saying that after they gifted it for you okay my favorite all fall long so um we've got this amazing fabric here with the little pumpkins on it and it gets even better because then on this side you have it's a reversible one which is always so much fun um we've got the cream color on one side with the burnt orange pumpkins and then vice versa over here oh it's so 
cozy. Like, I cannot wait to snuggle up with this. It's like, oh, I don't need another blanket, but this one is actually like just as cute as the quality is, which is a huge, huge W. I also really enjoy a decorative kitchen towel. I always put one on like the stove. We don't really use that one. It's always Let just like a towel. Let me see how long. Oh, we're on almost done. So this one is super cute and retro We've and got fun. About three a minutes. really fun brand I've discovered this year is Primitives by Kathy. That was that cute little candy corn. She had a lot of other um, really cute little trinkety, rustic looking Halloween items. So I think but this one would be really cute. This is a very okay, retro vibe. Yeah. He's a little spooky, that is but I cute. like it. Um, it just says happy Halloween. That actually is cute. Um, but all right, so I get it. She's doing, she has to do this for a video. This is her job. Got it. I would be so impressed if she talked about the different parenting classes her and Yara went to, or the book she's reading about parenting or newborn care, and off the fucking TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. And then it has, like I said, that retro looking pumpkin with the cat, and then it has cats all over the material, it, it as just, well. It's but depressing. a fun that little decorative seasonal tea towel on I the like stove. I like the towel. It just adds a little something. So this one's the Halloween option I found. And then for fall, I found this two pack and it looks like watercolor, watercolor pumpkins. So I felt like both of these were giving anthropology vibes, but like all the different watercolor pumpkins, are you kidding? This is beautiful for all of fall. And then it also comes with one that just says happy fall, which you could. I agree about her management. Yeah, well, I Again, I, I don't know how this one makes so much money because her videos don't even get that many views. Also like fold in the edges and put around on your, anywhere that you wanna display it actually. But um, I was really drawn to this watercolor pumpkin one. Also a big garland girl. I love putting a cozy garland above. You're just a big girl of the fireplace that was um, i'm not going to show it right now because i don't need to buy it again but last year i bought a light up fall leaf garland i will insert a picture and i will link it again it is so cozy do like a cozy kitchen window you can do it above the fireplace highly recommend that but then if you also want like something a little bit more simple i found these little felt garlands i'm also very into felt right now i just think it's so cozy so this little felt garland has a bunch of little wool um balls all right and how pumpkins. much more time do we got and then it also came with this pack that has uh Two minutes. white pumpkins well about a minute not, like, and a half so so cozy. I love just a little string of garland Holy shit. in a doorway, wherever. Very anthropology. And then my last item is another little Mackenzie Childs look. I love, love, love this doormat. So it's got three different pumpkins. We have the classic look of the Mackenzie Childs checkers. We've got black and white stripes and polka dots. Like, come on such a freaking cute find that doesn't look like uh, okay and i like that the fabric of this it's more of like a Is wire washable? mesh versus that classic like almost woody one that like sheds this one does not have a fabric that's gonna shed and which it's I outdoors Ugh. i think is really nice and also has like some squish you can almost put this like by the sink but i love love this doormat what do we think did we love the haul i no. love the haul so many good finds. I feel like so many great prices and comparative objects to those big stores that I had mentioned. So let me know if you like any of these. Are you going to pick any of them up? We got to see and the And let me know, have you decorated for fall yet? Or are you all? No. I, all right. Enough is enough, right? All right, let's see what we got here. I haven't been in an anthropology in forever. We really haven't been in a pottery barn for forever. The anthropology in our mall closed. Pottery barn's still there. <laughs> First comment right off the bat. That candle baggie looked like the weed I used to smoke in high school. Lamau. So apparently it's not even uh, good quality weed. <laughs> Uh, 
the pumpkin with the one dreadlock made me cackle a bit. It's cute. Wow, $47 for a wreath is a lot. Yes. Uh, no, my pool's still wide open. This person says, 90 degrees out, and I've been ready to close the pool for weeks. I even made pumpkin bread. Uh, do you really have to remind her? Cute finds. No lighting those little candles near Garland. No. Take a shot every time Alex says moment. Aha, uh -huh, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding, you'll die. I put the L in there, because, you know. You are glowing beautiful. Okay. Da, 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 da. I will be decorating September 1st, too. Well, good. Good for you. P.S. My cats would have a blast with the little pumpkins. Yeah, if I put it to where Bella could get them, they'd be hers. Like, that's it. And then she'd, she'd hide them probably under my bed, because that's what she does. She She likes to get her favorite toys and stash them in there, and then just all of a sudden you'll see her walking around with her favorite toy. Like, ooh, where was that? Um, okay, so I think that's it. And add to cart. By the way, I have my own affiliate links. Thank you very much. But that's actually useful stuff, not garbage. All right, so that is it.